Hello YouTube and stars, fans, Commander 6 here. Oh, just nearly tripped over. Uh, just doing like, uh, kind of like a blog type thing today. Just doing a couple of updates, some hauls and stuff. It's, uh, what's, March 20, no, Feb February 24th. Haven't really done any videos for a while, so I just want to try and do like a long vlog type of thing. Just, um kind of talking about what I've been doing for the past couple of days. So yesterday, uh, February 23rd, I actually went to this little convention thing and I had a store there and I sold a couple of items and I ended up getting this much money, $100. So that's going to go be going towards my um, Oz Comic Con buying experience type thingy. And then I've collected a couple of things over the couple of weeks to get signed at Oz Comic Con. I got the Earth 2 um, trade paperback issue 1. I'm um, going to get that signed by Nicola Scott. And then for Supernova in July, I have a couple of Ben 10 DVDs to get signed. I have, um, depends on how much um, Peter Mayhew's going to be. I might be getting a friend to sh get this Chewbacca figure signed for me. I also got a Ben 10 figure that I might, I'll probably get signed. And then I have this Guardians of the Galaxy comic that I'm going to get signed at Oz Comic Con by... I think it's John Walker or something. And then I also have these other Nicola Scott ones. Earth 2 issue 11 when fate calls. Um, Earth 2 issue 10, the Tower of Fate begins. And then I have um, Sigma 6 episode um, issue 14. So that's what I have. Um, so yeah, I went to a convention yesterday. I was selling some stuff. Um, I didn't sell that much figures. Or mostly I sold comics and some Lego. But I didn't sell that much. So after this, I should should be putting a trade slash sale um, video up. I do have some cool stuff. I have my Black Series Lego and Greedo that I'm going to be putting up. Um, so yeah, my Black Series Leia and Greedo still in still in package, and also have a couple of vintage figures. Got Ayla, Barris, Krinlan Voss, and some other ones and whatnot. So now, um, just talk about some other random stuff. Just let me sit down. So yeah, he, he I just want to show you. Here's all my comics I have. That that's a big stack of comics right there. And then, um. At basis at um, my school, I got this badge the other day for because I'm a year nine peer mentor, so I'm very happy with that. And then just um been doing a lot of different stuff around the house and whatnot. I do have a haul to show you from the comic fair, but I'll show you a bit later. Just want to talk about a couple of things. Um, have my trusty iPod here. Just want to show you um what I recently bought. Um, off eBay, and it's this. You can see that. Uh, the Power of the Force, um, Star Wars Power of the Force, Admiral Akbar. Don't know if you can see it properly. But yeah, Admiral Akbar. I bought him um, for twenty-five dollars in in a star case, in package and everything, um, to get signed by Tim Rose at Oz Comic Con. So that's going to be thirty dollars for his signature, and then past couple of things, some kit things I've been doing around the past couple of days is I'm going to start making a little diorama with this, with all these Lego things. It's just all my comics and whatnot. Have um, all those figures to review. I haven't really been doing anything for the last month or so. I just want to give you a quick overview of all my figures because I haven't really shown you done a like um new room tour because I got all new things so here's my Arkham shelf and then little Avengers display my DC figures and then my Justice Society of America's down at the bottom so I'm um, also also from Facebook I got a couple more figures I think I got Power Girl, Negative Man, Yellow Jacket Marvel Legends, um, Hour Man and Hawkman so they're all going towards my um, Justice Society, or JSA, 
uh, um, apart from Yellow Jacket and um, Negative Man. So then here's just a couple of figures, and I actually don't know if I showed you that, um, this guy in my last vlog haul or whatever you want to call it or update. Um, my custom pilot Hawk from Series Four from the Umbara arc made him. And just another figure, some other figures up there. Sorry if it's a bit dark, um, can't be ready. And my hand solo just knocked everything over. And then just a couple of vehicles up the top. And then there's actually a space there because, like, half my figures fell down. And so I'm just like, oh, I'll clean it a little bit. And then I haven't managed to put anything up. So it's just my original trilogy and expanded universe and stuff. So yeah, those are those figures, and I'm also going to be starting my uh, little, got my Captain America there, a uh, little um, series, season six, little mini diorama of when of the trailer. So spoiler alert, just skip ahead about thirty seconds to a minute if you don't want to hear this. There we go. So. Um, about the trailer where Tuck kills the, um, Jedi in the trailer. I'm sure everyone has actually seen the trailer. trailer. Um, how Tuck kills the Jedi. I'm actually gonna do, like, a little battle of that. I need to get a couple more super bad droids, maybe some droidicas. And then, hopefully, I'm looking for more Phase 2 clones. Hopefully, I can, if I trade some of my figures, I can get some more Phase 2 clones. And then, to actually celebrate... Um, the release of Star Wars Clone Wars Season 6 coming out on Netflix in the US. Well, it's actually going to be on this site called Master Tunes on, um, in Australia, so I can watch it there, because I live in Australia, if you didn't know that. I made this guy. Bam. This guy's actually from the trailer. And he's the one that goes, like, past, as you see, fires, and then... The grain trooper carries past with a little big little rotary cannon and whatnot. So yeah, I made him. I just haven't done the yellow little yellow triangle that's in the middle of his chest, and I've also got like a cannon for him. And then uh, so only a month to Oz Comic Con. Still have not finished my Nightwing costume. Still in the corner. Just um trying to work on the mask right now and the belt. And then, just trying to um, get lots of figures right now. I've actually reached the o over a thousand dollar mark. So hopefully after Oz Comic Con I'll be able to buy like billions of figures. Heaps of Lego. Uh, um, um, I found the, the Flash Lego set. That comes with Batman, Red Lion, Flash. But didn't pick it up. Because I wanted to save my money until after Oz Comic Con. Because hopefully I'll be able to get... Lots of like new 52 figures and stuff there. And then this Thursday, Thursday, February something, um, I, well, it's actually Friday, I'll probably be going in to the city, to, um, in Perth, to town, city, town, whatever you want to call it, and pick it up my series two figures of Batman Arkham Origin figures. My series two figures. So I'll just show you, I'm picking up. Um, Deadshot, Deathstroke, uh, Deathstroke, Deadshot, Firefly, and Killer Croc. And, but no, uh, I'm not getting Anarchy at this stage. See, so we've got Killer Croc here. You can see that? Killer Croc. I don't know where the other ones are, but, so, might just have to leave it. And then you guys can just wait. Oh, there's Deathstroke. Very same for him. So yeah, they're coming out on Thursday, and I should be picking them up on Friday. So now, I've been talking for a long time. Sorry about that. So, so yeah, talking for a long time. Hmm. So I still haven't really worked out where to put those figures. And uh, I did do an unboxing on, I received the Series 4 Nightwing figure of Batman Arkham City. That, I received that, did unboxing and everything, that's when I had like a sore arm and everything, and I was wearing my cast thingy, because I hurt my arm, and so I opened it up, um, opened up the figure, started playing with him, bam, 
his freaking elbow. Okay, guys, all right, sorry about that, but I just actually realized that my um, camera actually goes up only up to 10 minutes. So that kind of sucks. So as I was saying, um, it goes, uh, the elbow joint didn't move, so I had to get a re- I had to get- I had to send the figure back, and then I'm um, getting a new one, and that should be arriving next week or so. So now, I'll actually stop ranting, because otherwise this will go on for like 25 minutes. I think it's up to like 11 minutes now, longest thing I've ever done. Now we can go on to the actual haul. So the first thing I actually got, uh, I'll go from like cheapest to most expensive thing. The first thing I got, um, this was a Clone Wars figure, it was $2.50. Bam. Count Dooku. Now this is, um, I actually have, why, I already have Count Dooku, but I have like the first Count Dooku that got released. And that one has really a shitty articulation. So I saw this one, I'm just like, oh. It, I'll come back at the end of the day, and if it's still there, I'll get it. And I was there at the end of the day, so I'm just like, I'll pick this up, because this has awesome articulation. So it's got knees, got ankles, it's got great articulation. It didn't come with the sword, that's why I was like so cheap for $2.50. It didn't come with any accessories. So I just had this sword from my other Count Dooku, and yeah. So yeah, finally got a great articulator account. Dooku, he goes for like really expensive on eBay. And then before I even had a YouTube channel, I originally had this figure. Just let me put this grip on more. I originally had this figure. Uh, I wasn't like a hardcore collector. I'm just like I need to make some money. So here, I'll just sell a bunch of clones and then my Anakin. And I sold this clone and I regretted it. So, actually, he's the most expensive one. So I'll go on to him last. So I only actually got three figures. And this one is my middle expensive. So, yeah, Count Dooku was $2.50. Count Dooku. No lightsaber. This one was $8. And it was great steal. BAM! DC Universe Classics, the shark. Oh, shark. So, yeah, finally got sh him. He goes for a bit on eBay. So, I finally have the right leg for um, Kilowog. So, now I have the right and the right leg and the left leg from the question. So, I was actually very sad because when I first got there, we had to get there at like 8 o'clock to set up. So, um, when I first got there, I went over to the other stores to have a look what they had. And it had about five, four or five figures, that $8 DC Universe Classics figures. I'm just like, oh, I'll come back a little bit later because, um, i got to, like, deal with my store first and whatnot. So, about an hour after the first start, I went back. This was the only guy left. The other guys I had, there was, um, I think there was Stephen Wolf, but there was... There wasn't this version of Stephen Wolf, it was the other version. But I didn't really want that version. And they also had Vigilante, which I was I really wanted that figure. But I procrastinated and I missed out. And then those were the only two figures I really saw. And then um, they were all gone and this was the only guy left. But I just picked them up because it was $8 and that's a steal. And then the most expensive thing I was talking about, about the clone and everything, this guy was $10, I think it's a pretty good deal, because you can't even find them at retail anymore, and they go for a lot online. Um, still in the package, um, came with his little coin thingy, so as you know, it's going to be the 30th anniversary, is this, yeah, I think it's the 30th anniversary, and it's this bad boy right here, bam, clone trooper. Hawk Bat Battalion. Yep, finally found him again. Uh, finally have a Phase 1 armor clone. And I was actually going to think of getting like the Clone Trooper in Fatigue. Where he has just his red fatigue and then he gets clone armor after, after it. When I saw this guy, I'm just like, fuck, I'm, pick I'm picking this guy up. I kept coming back and back. Kept going back and forth like, oh, should I pick him up? No, nah, 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 I'm not going to pick him up. Nah. And at the end of the day, you're still there. I'm just like... Whatever, I'm going to get him, because this is a great figure. So, yeah. So, I got him. 
comes with his coin, comes in his package, there's the bubble there, I actually took him off the bubble, and he comes with this little felt thingy that you can put on him. So yeah, that is awesome. So I should be uploading this like straight away, as soon as I'm finished, and I'll be doing my trade video. So look out for my trade video, I'll, I'll, I'll probably put it in the description. And then, so I'm actually going out into the lounge right now to watch Lab Rats on Disney Channel and do my trade video. So, there we go. So, yeah, so as you can see, I'm about to watch Lab Rats. It's so time to go. See you guys later. Um, look out for my trade video. And I'll see you later. See ya.